In this episode, we're having a look at Newer F200, a camera monitor. Now, if you're short on time, what you should know is that this has a 7-inch screen size, it comes with a lots of features and comes also with a whole set of accessories. And the best part is that it comes with a price that you can afford. So this will set you back for around 110 bucks. And for full disclosure, this was sent free of charge to me for making this review. Now, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And first, let me tell you what you get in this box. So this is the box, very clean looking at first. On the side, it ticks the F200 model. And inside you'll find the monitor, a ball head adapter, the band door with a shade frame, a standard HDMI to mini HDMI cable, another standard HDMI to micro HDMI cable, plus a useful HDMI fixation plate, three in one audio cable and the manual. Now design wise, this monitor is made out of a plastic all around and has a seven inch LCD screen with an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. The first thing you notice when you hand this over is the weight size ratio. Now this only weighs 295 grams without the battery. It's very light considering it's seven inch uh, display and battery plate on the rear, very light, making it perfect also for a gimbal setup. On the bottom there is a tripod screw mount. On the right we have a number of inputs, starting with a port of supplying power to this monitor. Now of course this offers two ways to fit power. Obviously one option is using a battery and the other option via a DC 12 volt plug. For the other inputs you get one HDMI port only, you get AV in and AV out, you get the 3.5 mm headphone jack and of course you can update the software of this unit through the USB upgrade interface. By the way, this is how it looks compared to my F570 which has a 5.7 inch display. And now let's talk hardware. The screen has a 7 inch IPS LCD display, resolution 1900 by 1200 with a full aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Brightness needs 450, contrast ratio 1200 to 1, viewing angle 80 degree and offers HDMI support up to 4K input. About the batteries, it doesn't come with any, but it is compatible with a variety of models. I have a few F970s and it works great. Let's talk a little bit about its amazing 7 inch display. Uh, so uh, this display has a 7 inch screen size. It is great for a large image size to view, especially if you shoot yourself. That makes it easier to, to make sure you're in focus, right? Now the option for 16 by 10 aspect ratio to use the whole screen is nice. But of course you can change to 16 by 9 or leave it at auto, which does a great job. As I said earlier, this display has 450 nits, which is not the best for outdoor shots, but still using the shade frame helps a lot and you can of course shoot outdoors when there is sunshine. Now this device is very simple to use and now let's see how this works. When you turn on the monitor, you need to mute or lower the volume down when turning the device on because of distorted sound. They also claim this into their spec sheet or the manual, but also when you buy it through Amazon. The menu is very simple to walk through. The mode button switches between HDMI and AV mode. With the menu button you enter to the whole settings and with these two buttons you move around or up and down. For example, if I want to enter to the picture page, I press OK slash F1 button and I press OK again to enter brightness for example and move with these buttons the levels. To go back to the menu you just have to press backward slash F2 button. There's a lot of features you can add to the screen and apply. Now since this unit is made of plastic, the buttons do sort of a plastic noise. Not smooth, but for the price you should expect that. However, I don't think this is a hassle. My favorite are the four function buttons that can be customized to your needs for quick commands. Now color reproduction, which is very important when you buy a monitor. I found that the colors on the display look almost exactly as in my G9's display. 
So I would say that color reproduction is great and just gets the job done. Another important aspect when you buy a camera monitor is also the latency. So when you connect this camera monitor to your camera through the HDMI or AV, you want to see and check the latency that you get uh, when you shoot something. And I found that this monitor offers reliable and smooth playback without much latency. Maybe something less than half a second, which is nothing. Now, who's this for? This is for creators. This is for me. This is for other YouTubers out there, for filmmakers who need a light, big screen monitor because this has a seven inch screen size, all right? And it is so slim that I love it because it goes to my back very, very nicely and I can have it with me anytime, anywhere. Talking about positive things, this offers great quality for the price, has a full HD resolution, has and comes with a full set of accessories, HDMI cables, ball head bracket mount, sunshade, HDMI secure tool, lots of versatility in the menu with focus assist, picking, histogram, volumeter, four function custom buttons and more. And now let's talk a little bit about the downside. So one downside is that this guy uh, into along the inputs, it doesn't offer HDMI output. Now for some could be a hustle, for some is not an issue at all. For me, for example, it's not an issue because when I connect the monitor to the camera, I don't need to actually uh, translate that image to another external monitor. So I don't need the HDMI output. And though I have it on my F570, I have never used it. So for me, it's not an issue, but I'm sure that for some it is. And the last downside is that distorted sound or weird interference that you get when you actually power on the monitor when it is on top of your camera. It does that weird sound, but I found out that if you plug in your headphones onto the 3.5 millimeter headphone socket right here, you don't get that. Plus, I also found out that if you actually plug in a microphone to your uh, camera, then again, it will prevent that distorted uh, noise when you uh, power on the device. But yeah, for me, uh, this is a solved issue because once I turn on the monitor, I just press the F4, which I've customized it to mute the volume. And that's pretty much it. So now about the summary. So to conclude, if you are asking yourself or me, is it worth it? Totally worth it. I mean, if you're in a budget and looking for a nice camera monitor, then this is your best choice. Why? Because this has a big screen, right? Seven inch screen. So it will display largely your subject and you'll tell if you're in focus or not. The color reproduction is sweet. Um, I love that it is so slim, you can tell. So it goes on your uh, camera backpack very, very uh, easily and uh, fits very well. Uh, I also love that it is so light. I mean, just 300 grams, more or less. It comes with a whole set of accessories and it is so affordable. So again, this will set you back for around 110 bucks just as in Europe, also in uh, United States. So again, if you're interested to buy the newer F200 camera monitor, check the links in the description below. And if you do have any further questions or comments, please leave it down to the comment section. I'll be glad to read and interact with you. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm Henry, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.